have a second question from Catherine Cummins. With regard to the Pogora mine in Papua New Guinea, you have been negotiating with the PNG government and the Pogora Landowners Association for over two years and still your application for a mine lease renewal was recently turned down. This brings into question your social license to operate. At the same time, in these two years, you have failed to follow up on the recommendations of your own consultants, BSR, to work with the local human rights organizations to create a credible grievance mechanism for nearly a thousand claims of human rights abuses that have been filed with the mine. My questions are, will you agree to advocate for inclusion of the local human rights organizations in any further negotiations around the future of the mine? And when will you start to work with the local human rights organizations to create a credible and equitable grievance mechanism for victims of mining-related human rights and environmental harm? So, Catherine, um, I just correct you. Uh, maybe you don't follow the news. But um, we have uh, engaged and, uh, and with the support of the recognized uh, Pogra Landowners Association, recognized both by the government and by the courts in Papua New Guinea, have engaged in uh, proposing an extension to the SML. And, uh, and on that particular subject, uh, again, I'm sure you are aware that uh, there was a court case last Friday. The judge has instructed uh, uh, BNL, the uh, investor, and uh, and the government of Papua New Guinea to engage together to seek a uh, um, a win-win resolution going forward. And we are due back in court on Friday. And, and that uh, order has specifically prevented the parties from making any public comment. And so I will leave it at that. On the human rights uh, um, allegations and also on the um, grievances, again, as I pointed out, we are really, and myself personally, uh, we monitor the grievances. We use and recognize and engage with uh, uh, NGOs and other representative bodies within and outside the country. We, and I have been through the BSR report, and we've taken uh, note of the recommendations and conclusions that were in that report. And I feel, and certainly I've met on a number of occasions personally with the community and community representatives in um, in Pogra, and I believe that it's a very complex situation, social situation. If you've been there, you would understand this. Uh, but I have no doubt, and and I quote uh, community members pointing out that BNL is the only real uh, competent support uh, and a responsible community organisation uh, in that region. And we play, and our teams. CSR teams play a very big role in managing uh, the social situation uh, within and around the Pogora Valley. Mr. Chairman, we've received a question from Magdian Robert Yapari. My name is Magdian Robert Yapari. I'm from Pogora PNG. My question is, does Barrick have any plans for the 940 cases identified by its own commissioned report in search of justice, pathways to remedy at Pogora Gold Mine? If so, then when? And if no, then why? So, Magdian, uh, again, that, uh, that uh, engagement and process has been happening for a long time, and, and as far as I'm concerned, we have dealt with all the issues outstanding with that particular BSR report, is, if, if that is the report that you are referring to. On uh, new grievances, again, we deal with those grievances. Uh, we, uh, we effectively work to close them out, and then there are procedures which where, where we can't close them out, where they move to a different uh, forum to be able to be addressed.